didn't bark. He didn't bark at the last moose either, so that's good. The lynx right there. There's his tracks. He was standing right in front of the truck there when I pulled in the driveway. <laughs> Crazy. Managed to get out in the shop for an hour. Been getting home late every evening from work. And I split the lid. I'm just gonna have to fold up the lid. I got some piano hinges right here, six feet long, and then I got one for, a shorter one for my compartment I'm going to make right there. I think it might be a, a fish bin or a bait bin or something, or whatever, something specific anyway. Might be, uh, I don't know, whatever, like I said. So I got gray paint for the lid. And I'm going to make my compartment gray. So be some gray and black. 25 below outside. This is a heat pump fan. Like you come from one of the oil field, oil and gas buildings when they did an abandonment. My boss asked me if I wanted it. Works pretty good. Circulate the heat. It's got to be hot in order to work just like those eco fans. Got some, got my bait in thong. Might put out a, some Martin sets here soon. A couple link sets. I just uh, put another carcass out, got it in position, see what shows up. So, I'm going to go in for the night. Early rise again in the morning. Came home to get some wood to go in my uh, woodshed. There to go light my stove here out in my back shed here and uh, I had, I've had a lynx here the last week or so back and forth I had a fox carcass hung out there and a wolverine carcass and uh, he's come there and eat on it and he took the fox carcass and now he's eating on the wolverine carcass so I went out there then to get wood and he was Hiding by my skidoo there, so uh, I'm gonna rig out a, a domestic milk crate set for him. Because <laughs> uh, yesterday I came home and he was there, and uh, I didn't know he was there, but I knew he was chewing on that carcass, so I went to see where he dragged the fox carcass off, and the dog freaked out, started barking. I looked back, and he was standing right where I was just standing like a minute before there so so I walked towards him and then he chose the dog he ran towards the dog I thought sure he was gonna have it out with him but he ran right by the dog and then the dog chased him in the woods so so it's time for him to go I I set a set for him over where I cut wood just so it's away from the local dogs and stuff here but I'm gonna put this up on my uh on a tier of my wood there so nobody's dog can get into it or mine but he's always where I am anyway but he's sniffing there now because I just cut lynx lynx belly you'll like that so I'm gonna set a 3.30 for him
Watch the noodle there, buddy. And my uh, setters are... My setters are in my sled. So I'm going to put you, move you back there a bit. Oh, this one's... You get some are really loose, not very many, but... I didn't try to do that, but it worked out. Easy enough. See what he thinks of this. He might be keen enough not to go in there knowing that he's somewhere he shouldn't be to start with. This is uh, just a lot faster. I'm going to get some wire there now. stuff all over the place. Sniff, sniff, you get out of here. Your sniffer is going to get you in trouble too. Not bad, eh? I don't have to go anywhere to catch fur. I just go and stay in my yard. Lynx meat works every time. There's my lid. Lids. Uh, might screw them on here in a second. Maybe we'll air some rumble in the jungle while I'm out here. I don't think it's going to work that fast. So I'm not sure if he took off or he was eating underneath the front of my skidoo because I got wood piled in front of it. So there's uh, like a, a wall there. So. Okay, I'm getting set out here. He might be in there now. I don't see him. That's the Wolverine carcass up there. And he was hiding him by the side of the sled when I seen him last. So, I'm going to put him right there and I'm going to, I'm going to move that tub. He might be up there, you never know. A cagey little bugger. So I'm going to sit in right there, pointing that way. That way, if it's a dog or something, he's got to get in past the skidoo. But see, he's been chewing on that like crazy. Crazy. Okay, I'm going to sit in there and I'll show you after. Not your typical environment for trapping lynx, but it should work. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs> see, so yes, his trail going up to there. And around the back and down to there onto the field. He'll be back. They always come back. Always. Unless they get caught somewhere else. <laughs> okay. 
He likes lynx meat too. Holy. Okay, I'm gonna screw my, try to put my hinges on my lid here. He probably just ran 12, 14 kilometers. Just finished my box. My neighbor called it the Undertaker. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I thought I was gonna be able to get these to fold right on down to down the sides, but uh, it's not happening. I don't want to fold them down. That's not dry. So the only goal as far as there, like this. But thinking maybe I might put something underneath them that I could. Maybe if I go to the lake and I'm fishing and I want to cook, I could make this into a table. Because it's not just going to be a trapping sleigh, it's going to be for whatever I use it for in the winter time. And they were nice and flush, but I guess the hinges, if they're not the hinges, they might be perfect, but it'll work. And I went, I had this gray all around, and I went to put black on the ends down there and gray up on the ends up here and I had overspray which I knew I was gonna do I just fooling around having a rum and it's Christmas Eve and whatever so then I just painted black and then overspray went on it a bit so I was like diff, you know so then I oversprayed it all <laughs> and that's how it turned out like that my buddy's got some rubber over there now so I might uh Fold some rubber down over on both sides here, so then when it goes together, it'll be tight. Cause I, uh, I kind of put that gap in there more, cause I figured the bottom parts of the, the lid would hit each other and would close. But there is quite a gap there, enough for snow to go down there. So, so anyway, guys, Merry Christmas. I worked today and everything was running, and I said I'm getting the fuck out of here before something falls falls down shuts down so been a busy last couple shifts so i haven't been getting much done that's you know i'm not behind on my trap because i wasn't planning on doing a pile i just want to go out and play with it but still you know try not to go crazy with spending so somebody called me said i was poor and i had a house and a cabin and a shop but I told him that took 19 years to get, so. And I was making good money then. I'm still not making bad money, but not good enough money to be keeping up an acreage and mortgages and everything else that comes with it for being a single guy. But I've always been that way. I always need to see something for for my work. I might own a bank a bit of money, but I wanted to see something for it instead of pissed away. So, hey doggy, he had a visitor, my neighbor come over and his dog was with him and she had to put him in line. Looks like it works the same way for dogs. <laughs> but she uh, straightened him out there and calmed him down. He's a good dog though. So, anyway guys, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Just got home from work, Christmas Day. Gonna head to Fort St. John now to to Brett's place and I'm gonna hopefully get out on the trail with him tomorrow. Fool around for the day. I just came over to check a couple boxes. I had out and I had a, a weasel set the other one off and uh, 
Looks like we got something there. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same one or not, but we got the weasel. What? You little bugger. You don't want to bite at that. He's full of full of fleas. I'm sure she's got some. Nice big weasel though. Getting pretty yellow. They get that yellow cast on him. You little bugger. He just wants to bite at him. He figured he'd bite at him before I <laughs> before I pushed it at him like I did with the Martin. He's not stupid. Okay, let her over and load my sled and take off. Then when I get back, I'm gonna go out and check my wolf sets and my 330s. See if I got anything. Cheers. Some caribou foraging. You didn't see them, did you? Now you see them. Good to see some blues. We're still headed south. The mountains in the background. <laughs> 